Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It's truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have uh, been watching my videos for a while and have not, drop a line. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And if you uh, feel like this video just gives you a good vibe, you know, please, you know, go ahead and share. Um, it's greatly appreciated. And the video I'm doing today is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka's evolving, moving forward unapologetically. You need to. You need to. There is never um used for explanation or apologies um for you moving forward and being able to see things from a broader perspective you know um being able to see how far you have come and you are no longer the person you just started you know being able to see everything that you have faced is created a new version of you to get towards the higher self you know, um, being able to see all the different things that I went through, you know, being able to connect with different people, being able to really just step back and um, seeing everything from a higher perspective. Boy, when I tell you, it's like a blessing beyond blessings. And it just makes you very grateful of the ups and downs that you have gone through, the different connections of experiences, even uh, seeing uh, different chapters of your life and how it unfolded, um, being able to be showing gratitude towards everything, you know. I never thought I would sit back here and say, you know, um, I appreciate all those dark moments that I've had, uh, the moments where I didn't believe in myself or just seeing, um, not knowing if my life was going to really get better from where I'm at. Um, just being able to say, is there always going to be dread? Is there always going to be mishaps? You know, am I going to uh, feel doubt or di different circumstances? Is it going to ever stop or is the doors going to close towards that for me to venture off on something new? And, you know, going towards that, it you know, instead of just having all the questions, just allowing myself to move forward and just saying wherever, you know, that, that, you know, wherever that, that page lies at and it falls, you know, trust whatever is unfolding. You don't need to apologize for that, you know, because sometimes, you know, when you start allowing yourself to be very selective about what you're entertaining, you're going through a spiritual maturity. And I was trying to get off on that, but that's what reminded me of spiritual maturity. And I'm supposed to be uh, doing a video about that. You're going through a spiritual maturity. You're um, going through a toxicity of freedom. You know, you see the different things that you didn't really care for about yourself because of the fact is what you were exposed to, what you had normalized, uh, what you may have experienced, what, what may have been passed down to you, um, the different relationships you had in all forms. It doesn't matter if it's a lover, life partner, husband, wife, um, baby mama, baby daddy, family, whatever. And just being able to do it because, I mean, it, it's just like the negative stuff that I've been through. I, I used to have that energy like, ugh whatever but then when I can allow myself to say you know what that's a part of me and there's nothing to be shameful about it you know I, you know there, there's times in life where we don't have everything figured out shoot we still don't but when you're allowing yourself to say I wish the best I wish the best for me I wish the best for anybody who's um, out there on that grind of being able to do that even if, when the people are not really figuring out um, uh, whatever is going on in their life you know people that choose to not you know not heal as well as the people that are choosing to heal or just people just trying to find their way and it's not saying that people don't want to heal but a lot of times we don't initially know what healing is you know and it's not saying what you mean by that but there's a lot of times where we can be doing stuff and we can be stuck in our own war with ourselves and really don't know how to go about healing because there's times I was stuck in my own stuff self-destructing in every kind of way I ain't even gonna lie about that y'all already know <laughs> y'all be straight transparent with that and it, it needed for me to you know there's sometimes you got to really step back until you say you know um I'm not really feeling myself right now. I'm not really feeling okay right now. You know, I need to be able to just allow myself to take a pause 
and just reevaluate myself, self-assess. You know, I'm just really trying to find my way. I'm trying to find my way to my home, trying to way, trying to find my way to my peace. You know, my my love for self, my worth. And you know, and and when you're allowing yourself to do that, and you keeping it real, long as you know you're keeping it real with yourself, other people on that vibration is gonna be able to feel you like, man, that's what I want. You know, and it's good. You know, it's just like um. Uh, like I noticed that even just the way the things that I, I, I choose to pick to even you know even watch I noticed that because it's like you know if you've been with me for a while or even people that know me you know uh, off YouTube y'all know I'll be quick to be talking about horror movies and you know the different crime uh, videos I watch them like y'all y'all you to take it out um, check this out and this and this and that because you know I say I love Bailey Syrian's uh, channel as well as Christina Randall you know uh, uh, what was her name? Kendall, Kendall Ray. You know, and congratulations on her. You know, she's pregnant and stuff like that. And I haven't been for her for a while, but you know, it's just a fact is I don't pull back a lot on that. You know, because it's not I'm not trying to embody all that stuff. You know, it's just like it's good when you can actually put to rest um, knowing what happened to a loved one or to a friend or somebody that you knew that whose lives was cut short and stuff like that. But it's just like I've been more on um positive reform re reform for myself you know being able to see different things from a uh, spiritual uh uh levels you know i'm leveling up spiritually you know i'm trying to heal myself i'm trying to empower myself these are the things that i like to watch you know um spiritual warfare uh emotional clearing you know um detoxing on everything you know and, and it's just like that's more healthier for me you know it doesn't mean that I have to just totally cut out you know those things that I entertain but it's just like when it's on that heavy negative vibration I just don't want to get comfortable there it, you know that's how I know I'm evolving because I can't watch it too long you know, even when I love just be on Tubi and, you know, my little websites, they were like, girl, you know, because the last movie I think I watched was, uh, that was new, um, was Morbius. I never, I didn't get a f finish the chance of that. Morbius and, uh, Scream and, you know, all those different things, but I haven't even been watching those lately. I've been just more on, um, you know, different spiritual purposes uh, type videos that I've been watching. I'm like, Dad, yeah, this is this is me right here. This is my vibration right here. And you know, I say, yeah, I still do my stuff on my, uh, you know, on my time. But I notice when I uh, when I start shifting a lot, there's a lot of different things that I just don't watch anymore. And not saying, uh, that's not my thing, but it's just like um, I. I pick my time for that but if it's just like something like hey i need to have me a good laugh yeah i'm gonna be putting on you know different uh tiktok videos or i go watch my boy rammy when he be watching um set up here and his crazy behind me set up here eating all them like spicy stuff because he be like oh my sinuses i got a hold of my nose i'm like fool you got two of them you know but just be you needing a laugh real quick you need that uplift you know and it's it's just more about what i'm allowing myself to venture off into and um Y'all, my bad. I forgot about that. My thing came up. I said, I'm trying to sit up here and be funny on my last video and hit the daggone thing and cut the video off. Because I usually, you know, I had my outro and I was like, uh, you know, I, it was really abrupt. I said, that's why I get for daggone playing too much. But, um... You know, just being able to do that. You know, I'm going through an intense transition. And it's like been since that. So it's just like you're going to start needing that. Because I noticed lately, I haven't really been sleeping much. And, you know, still getting up grateful. You know, I'm seeing another day. I'm not moody. Because a lot of times when I don't get sleep or even, you know, when I was going through my depression, I was 24-7 moody. Like, I didn't want to be bothered with nobody. I didn't want to be bothered with myself, my energy. Nothing surrounding me. Nothing is trying to reach out. Nothing is trying to reach in but now it's just like I needed that smack of reality towards myself and a lot of times you got to go through that like girl what you going through and ain't you know and it's not even really be going through nothing but it's just the fact is if you want better you got to start feeling better you got to start acting better and when you do that you know your vibrations is just all off the wall off the charts type situation and I was like, I ain't gonna feel sorry for that you know, if somebody hating on that, you know, hey, that's less about me and more about you, you know. And it, it was like I needed that in my life. You know, I wanted that in my life. You know, I've gone through so many different setbacks in my life. I've gone through so many trauma, so much trauma, so much just, ugh, you know, who hasn't? 
but it's at that point where you know I, I don't want to be you know uh you know defining I don't like that defining my life anymore it's just like I'm overcoming you know there's a lot of different things that's going to hold heavy to my heart but I'm not going to stop that from me moving to that next level allowing myself to heal you know these are things that I just can't change you know and I know that God has something better out there for me and I, I feel good about that. I love that. And, you know, and just being able to uh, empower that, you know, I'm like, shoot, yeah, I want to be able to project that towards other people. And I always tell people all the time, it's like my best quote is just that, you know, you never know who's watching you. You never know who is watching you. You never know who is needing that vibration that you got today. Because it's just so many people are out here where we, we put that shield on oh girl everything okay you know it ain't as bad as you know it, it, it seems you know and stuff like that and we really be it was like who you fooling you may be a, a who you trying to convince everything is okay you know it gets to that point where you know stop putting at that, that fake front and do something about that you know really put up stop putting up that fake front and really do something about it you can get to that point yeah it's not okay right now but it's, it's going to get better better days are coming to me i'm going to claim that you know, you have to be able to believe that. And sometimes when you're really going through ruts, and I've, I've been there, I've been close to people that I can see that's still going through that. And I pray for everybody because it's just the fact is, even if you're on a vibration of being stuck and confused, that's okay. You know, when, but you being able to be able to be honest with yourself, yeah, I'm stuck right now, and I'm really trying to find that that vibration to really get me out of that. You know, and I was like that for a while because it's just be, you know, it'll just be like, I don't want to do this no more. I, I, I'm, I just don't want to do it no more. I mean, there, there was where life, I just didn't want to do it anymore, and I had to be able to really shut everybody out, you know, and, and really just get myself going again, and then coming back, and then when I can, you know, do my videos. And actually be on that same vibration where I'm believing everything I'm saying. And a lot of times, I'm not saying that I wasn't believing what I was saying before. But I was going through a lot of stuff. You know, I'm still going through it. But it's just like, you know, I can't control that. You know, it. You know, I. It, if I can change it, it's changing me. You know, and I like the change that's coming in. I'm not resisting it anymore. I'm not allowing myself, even though it may be uncomfortable, I'm enjoying that uncomfortability. And I never thought I'd be able to say that, you know. And it'll be times where I made videos and, you know, people are like, Rosalind, I like your honesty. You know, you, you'll sit up here and say, you know, you're going through this. And there'll be days where you're not okay. I feel very vulnerable. At times, and I, I don't like making videos like that because you know I know there's people out there that truly appreciates those type of videos because that that tells them you know I, I can resonate with that and it's, I'm so glad that somebody's out there on a platform that really can get what I'm going through, really can you know get what I'm going down, what's going down with me, you know because there's a lot of times you are wanting to share, but there's sometimes it's hard for you to really project what's going on with you because you don't know. Is somebody going to take that around with it? You know, there's some folks out there, you know, when you put that out there, I'm really going through some stuff and people be laughing at that, you know, and hoping stuff can get worse with you. Or there's somebody out there that be faking the funk of everything being okay and it makes them feel a little bit better that there's somebody out there, they're not the only one in the world that's really going through something like that and really needed that shake of reality to say, baby, you ain't out here, you ain't in this alone. We, we're all fighting battles that we're trying to find the remedy to fix. And remedies, sometimes you have to be able to sit back, close everything off until you feel okay. It's okay to not be okay all the time. It's okay to not be strong all the time. You know, I'll tell people, they're like, girl, you strong. Especially, you know, all the stuff you don't been through. It, I haven't, it, it took a minute to get that way. I still got my weak moments, and that's all right. When you, you disrespect yourself by trying to act like that, something ain't phasing you. You know, and if it's if it's phasing you, if you want to be doing that to yourself, hey, you know, I, I can't I can't judge nobody that on um, stuff like that, you know, but it, it's just like you have to be able to get to that point where either I'm going to allow myself to just keep projecting, judging, you know, or, you know, wanting to poke the bear or whatever, 
and you know life is gonna keep you know because a lot of times you have to understand when you keep doing that life is only gonna get worse for you you know it's only gonna get worse and mine was like that you know because it'll be just like if somebody brought something to me oh baby i'm gonna bring a truckload back to you and it's like i'm gonna make you hate me for it you know and you're gonna really make you hate me for it but now it's at that point i don't have time for it i have my own war i'm not sitting up here tending to fighting somebody else's battles too i'm all, I'm just because i'm a warrior don't mean every day i go war is my fight and you have to be able to understand that every war is not your fight we all got them you know, sometimes people want to share and say, hey, Karen is sharing. No, you can keep that dick right there. You know, I ain't trying to, I ain't, I ain't trying to pick that up. <laughs> I ain't trying to, I ain't going to RSVP that. No, no, no. But I'll pray for you, though. You know, and a lot of times, you got to be able to do that. Pray for everybody. You know, pray for everybody. Whether they, you know, those, those are the people that really want to see you, you know, really move on with your life. Really get something better in your life. Because, you know, I've had times where I was really going through stuff. And people are like, Rosalind, I hope it get better for you. And I really mean that. And I appreciate that. And there will be some times that, sometimes when I was really going through it, when somebody say that, I'll break down and cry. Because it was just like I was a whole hot mess. And I'm not being funny about that. I was a whole hot mess. And it'll, when I can get up in the morning and just cry tears of joy and just saying I'm, I'm not allowing things to just plant there, you know, my worries, my concerns, my hurts, my pain. Let me allow myself to really feel this so I ain't got to keep, you know, holding on to that. I was handcuffed to my pain, you know, in that prison of pain. That cell door is always unlocked. You know, you don't need to be in that rotating door of that. You can see it and say, you know what? This was my moment where I had to really flip it. And I mean flip it for the good of me. You know, I only can, I can fix me. I can't go through external habits of trying to find happiness out there because it all starts with me. I can't be, you know, using addiction to try to smooth it out for myself to really say you know I, I don't want to deal with this right now okay you don't have to deal with it right now but you you know I used to use drinking as a, a as a, a uh, temporary fix I used to use marijuana as a temporary fix I used to use sexual relations for a temporary fix I used to use cigarettes for a temporary fix I was on my you know <laughs> being honest I was on emotional eating for a temporary fix now it's like I love the activities that I'm doing now. I'm being even when I want to sit down, I, I you know it's like even my sit down got a scarf guard to it. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna sit down. No, who the hell you won't? <laughs> you know, I'll be ready to sit down. And it is just like the, for the last few days I've been like that, and I really, really love that. And it is just like when I tell you, I really, really went from a 360. And you know, and it's good when you can see them 360s, and you can really just sit back and say. Ooh, I was in a dark place and I didn't like that dark place I was in you know I, I've gone through a lot of stuff and it was just like you know when you know you have gone through some intense stuff that you know you have to be able to tell yourself and you know exactly what you've been through and a lot of times you got to be that that gentle reminder and say I done been through a lot of things that a lot of people wouldn't have been able to get through you know, a lot of times you can say some things that it, it don't end well for a lot of people, you know, and you were that one that you can use that as a spiritual purpose to be able to, you know, connect with other people. When you start healing yourself and you sharing that healing vibration, you don't know what kind of ripple effect that can do just surrounding you, you know, just surrounding you. And it, it'll be, it can be that emotion because it's just like when I get up in the morning and just not be thinking about, oh, is this going to be one of these days? You know, yeah, my eyes really went cross on that like It's going to be really one of those days. And it's just like now this morning, it's like, I'm conquer the world. I don't know what's going to go on today, but hey, I'm going to ride with it. I'm going to ride that wave. You know, it's like surfboard, surfboard. I'm going hey, to ride, ride, along, ride along with it. And I'm going to keep continuing to do that. There will be a day that, I, I mean, it would be not a good day. But I'm just not going to allow that to really mess up my whole day for that. You know, there are certain things that's going to come in that I'm not expecting. That's what life is. You're going to be able to go through that. But, you know, allow yourself to be unapologetic about that. You don't have to explain to people why you don't do the certain things you do anymore. If you, if you can't understand, you can't stay the same all the time. It's not good to do that. 
You know, you want to be able, when you move, let that be positive. When you move, let you be going to the next level. When you move, you're trying to focus on being a better person. Allowing what I went through change me for the better. You know, because a lot of times it's like, okay, you know, things ain't changing. Have you been making the moves to make the change for that change to take place? It could, a lot of things be changing. If you don't notice the change, nothing will never change. When you start seeing things change, you'll see everything around you looking different. You'll start noticing even when things are, are you know, causing friction with you. Because you already know the devil don't like it when you, when you get out of that funk. He likes it when you're in despair. He likes it when you're stressed. He likes it when you're stuck and bothered. And when you allow yourself to do that, because you know a lot of times you can sit up here and say, you know what? Today's that day. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Next, you know, the devil be like, <laughs> you think? You know, and it's going to be that way. And you just be like, hey, that that's not my thing today. You know, it ain't going to be my thing tomorrow either. You know, if it's something that is out of my control, it got to be out of my head. It got to be out of my, my heart, my energy, my frequency. Let me go ahead and post up something that's going to be positive. Let me post something that's going to make me really laugh. You know, let me do something. You know, you picking things that uplift you. What What's your favorite thing? What you like to do? You like to read? You know, do you like to dance around? Do you like doing Tai Chi? Do you like yoga? Do you like... uh? photography you like taking pictures you know that that gives you an uplift you know um doing um it, it, i get a visual of people that that love tai chi and it's now it, it's like the the weather that's changing you know permitting depending on where you at in the world because it'll be certain places especially up north north i'll be just like god dog you know it's almost 70 80 degrees here you know i'm like let me see what what degrees is it is here you know like 63 degrees because it's raining and i'm actually proud of myself too for that because uh you know <laughs> you because uh, usually when it rains my butt be trying to cuddle up somewhere and and really be trying to like man look this is that time for me to be able to uh yeah 66 degrees today here but it'll be some places that's still in the 40s and 50s i'm like no nah, y'all need to come back down south girl yeah because mm -mm. I've been in a, you know, I've been in the Midwest, and that mess would probably be a shock to my dad on so long. Like, no, nah, I'm good. But you know, never be apologetic. You know, don't be apologetic about your transformation, especially if it's on something good. If people can't understand that, baby, you got a lot to learn because you know it's good to actually change for the better. It's really, it's a fantastic. That's splendiferous for you to change for the better. But I hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. Like I leave all my contact information in the description box below. Um, if you're on my IG, I'm starting back to share. Um, you know, even when I'm putting down my new podcast, I'm sharing it there as well. Um, I'm sharing my videos there as well. If you're connected with me on IG. Um, and I've been leaving the links to my podcast, you know, so I'm really trying to broaden that out, you know, um, starting back my Hey Oka chat, I'm not saying it's going to be every day, you know, I'll just drop it, you know, drop that gym when it's time, you know, because it's just that I've been very busy lately, I've been really trying to keep myself busy, so I would love to give a post notification shout out to, um, Christine Flaherty, much love to you, sis. Uh, Farrah Hazard, I miss you too. And I hope you felt them loves and hugs that I sent you. And, um, um, I am Patsy, uh, QVC, uh, QV, uh, SQ. I don't know, no, I'm thinking about them daggone, uh, online shopping networks. My bad. <laughs> I was like that. So, but yeah, I hope whatever you're, you're placing out into the world. Oh, yes, as well as I leave my cash app. Um, address there as well if you ever feel you know generous enough you know help assist out and drop a donation would be greatly appreciated um but uh what was i saying you know whatever your, your manis are that you're trying to place into the world you know hey keep going you know a lot of times it, it's not going to happen overnight you know don't allow yourself to get discouraged a lot of times it can get quiet before that big you know catapult of a jump you know, to prosperity and abundance, that door swing wide open. You never know; it could be cracked right now. So don't don't sleep on yourself. You know, if you need to take a break, you do that. You know, if you need to have that downtime for you to just really, you know, retract what you're doing. You know, do that, but don't give that that vibration that things won't ever get better for you. You know, because it truly is. So you know, you keep going. You know, um, and allow yourself to really expand what, you know, if you're doing it, the universe is giving you that creativity to like, hey, you know, your purpose, go ahead and spread it this way, spread it that way. You know, don't ask questions for that. They already know what's taking place in your life and they're trying to get you there as well. So, you know, you never know. It could be right around the corner. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm putting that vibration to whatever it is that, you know, universe is opening doors for you. It's going to be so much bigger and better than you ever expected it. Um, 
And even through social distancing, make sure you give out love, light, positivity, words, five frequencies. You never know. All those things can really take somebody a long way. And just because you did that, it can take somebody even even further. So, you know, um, just keep doing that. And you'll see me on my next video. Much love to you. Namaste.